as you lived through this personally and also being in this field an expert, it would be from us, I think, very interesting if you could describe a little bit these kind of mood swings you went through, perhaps also to helping these, these people to deal with it better. Sure. So, um... I would say that the mood swings of mania and depression, by and large, are more extended, uh, last over a longer period of time, with a lot of fluctuation in between, a lot of irritability. Uh, in the case of maybe 50% of people that get manic, they become euphoric and elated and expansive. And the other 50% just become very irritable and very paranoid. Um, certainly, you can have mixed states where, people, where these moods exist together. Uh, what you see in many, I think, are, are the changes in behavior that are striking sometimes with L-DOPA. What kind of changes in behavior? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sorry. So, changes in um, spending behavior. Uh, mania is the only illness in the psychiatric diagnosis, uh, DSM-5, that is associated with, with uh, changes in spending habits. There's no other illness that has that, that kind of uh, poor judgment, impulsiveness, uh, seeking out of pleasure, even though the pleasure may be fraught with difficulties and uh, have costly uh, consequences. So I think that mania is, in a way, the behaviors are easier to understand with depression. A lot of people can look very depressed, be very depressed, and hide it from other people, um, keep to themselves. Um, Why do they hide it? Well, I think people hide things for a lot of reasons. I mean, sometimes uh, people have work, and they, they have to show up at work, and even though they may be almost incapacitated. They still uh, show up. Some people can't show up because they're too depressed. Uh, there's, there's shame. There's um, a, a sense, I would say predominantly, a sense of hopelessness. The key feature of a deep depression is hopelessness. And so you don't think that there's anything that anybody can do for you that's going to make any difference. So therefore, there's no point in doing anything. And I think that that's... Um, one of the most pronounced and frightening aspects of spirit depression. Yeah.